Now, as we've been discussing, it's Pride Month where some Western nations celebrate everything LGBTIQA+, with no thought about the consequences. But it's no longer all smooth sailing for the rainbow political activists. As popular global television, uh, children's television program Sesame Street was inducting toddlers into the harmful gender fluid and sexualized world of Pride Month, a regional government in Italy axed funding from Rome's Pride Parade due to be held this Saturday. The approach to Global Pride Month in America and Italy could not be starker. The Lazio region, which takes in the Italian capital, is similar to an Australian state jurisdiction. Its president, Francesco Rocca, is aligned with Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney, who is steering Italy in a family-friendly direction. Francesco Rocca's government pulled the Pride Parade funding because the organisers were openly promoting surrogacy for homosexual men. This is an unethical practice of procuring children because it robs a child of the love of his or her mother. Now, Family First believes surrogacy is also unethical in heterosexual contexts for the same reason. Australian same-sex marriage activists have been pushing for the legalisation of commercial surrogacy because they don't believe enough women are available who are willing to gestate a baby for free. That's called altruistic surrogacy. They want a commercial rental market for women's wombs and a cash market for babies. But in Italy, the government is putting children's rights first. The Reuters news agency reported, quote, Maloney's government has told mayors to stop registering the children of same-sex parents, and her ruling coalition has presented a bill aimed at prosecuting couples who go abroad to have a baby via a surrogate. End quote. Now, Family First believes that the rights of children to know the love of their mother and father wherever possible should take precedence over the desires of adults. Children sadly miss out on a mother or father because of tragedy or desertion, but it should never happen because government policy mandates it. Family First believes all taxpayer funding should be withdrawn from so-called pride events. If Rome can do it, so can we.